Hi, I'm Jill O'Connell. This is One on Wednesday. I am the owner and attorney at O'Connell Law Firm with my practice focusing on Denton County family law and divorce cases. Today, I wanna to discuss with you some general family law, uh, legalese, legal terms, language of divorce, uh, those things uh, that are used. And sometimes we as lawyers forget that normal people uh, don't know what they always mean. Sometimes they're abbreviations. Um, so the first one I wanna talk about are is the term standing orders. Denton County and most counties in Texas have orders that go into effect when the first pleading in a uh, divorce and family law case is filed. And for Denton County, you can find a link to those standing orders on our website, and you can find uh, those standing orders on the Denton County website. And there are also some common terms that are used. Uh, when, we, when, when lawyers are talking about the parties, that is typically the, the spouses only in a divorce case. It does not mean the children. The children are not parties to the case, only the husband and wife, uh, the, the two spouses are uh, the parties to the case. If we are using an abbreviation, I-M-O-M, -M, it means in the matter of the marriage of. Sometimes that abbreviation is a little bit different. Uh, I-T-I-O, in the interest of, uh, and that's in uh, family law cases uh, when we're talking about in the interest of minor children. Uh, opposing counsel is the lawyer on the other side. Uh, and if there, someone is um, representing themselves, you might see the words pro se, P-R-O space S-E, or pro per, P-R-O space P-E-R, and that means representing themselves as self-representer. These are a few of terms that we come across and that I get questions about frequently, uh, just for information only. And if you want specific advice for your case, call the office. We're happy to set up an appointment and consultation for you. 940-497-5454. Uh, I'm Jill O'Connell. This is One on Wednesday, and um, we will see you next time.